Hello everyone, we already know about myopia, so let us know about other vision problems. You must have observed that some people cannot see things close to them clearly. Such persons keep the reading material much beyond 25 cm from the eye for comfortable reading. This condition is known as farsightedness or hypermetropia. Thus, a person with hypermetropia can see distant objects clearly but cannot see nearby objects distinctly. In farsightedness or hypermetropia, the image is formed behind the retina instead of on the retina and this is because the light rays from a nearby object are focused at a point behind the retina. So we can say the near point for the person is farther away from the normal near point which is 25 cm. This means the image is formed beyond 25 cm. Thus in case of hypermetropia the focal length of lens doesn't reduce enough to create image of nearby object on retina. This defect may be caused because of two reasons. Either the focal length of the eye lens is too long or the eyeball has become too small. Here in this diagram N is the near point of the normal eye. But focal length of lens doesn't reduce enough to make its image on retina. So the near point of the eye receded to N dash. Thus, person with hypermetropia can see an object kept at N dash or beyond clearly. The error can be corrected using convex lens of appropriate power to provide additional focusing power required to form an image on retina. Here, the object is between point N and point N dash. Say it is at point N. So U is equal to minus 25 centimeter which is the near point of the normal eye. And V is the distance of near point for the person with hypermetropia. Say it is equal to minus DN. In this case Making an image on point N dash would be enough for us. This image at point N dash acts as an object for eye lens and hence the final image is formed at the retina. Now putting these values of U and V in the formula 1 by F is equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U we get 1 by F is equal to 1 divided by minus DN minus 1 divided by minus 25. This can be simplified as 1 by F is equal to minus 1 by DN plus 1 by 25 as minus minus becomes plus. Now taking LCM, we get 1 by F is equal to DN minus 25 divided by 25 DN. Or we can say F is equal to 25 DN divided by DN minus 25. This is nothing but basically the reciprocal of 1 by F. Now here we see DN is greater than 25 because the near point of the person has receded. So DN minus 25 is positive and this means the focal length is positive and we need biconvex lens. So remember if the focal length is positive, then the lens is convex lens. That's all for now. Bye-bye.